Today's video is 10 interesting facts about Johnny Winter. All right, let's go through the list. The number one, Johnny Winter, you probably know, was born as an albino. But you know, one of the things that it affected was his eyes. So albinos don't have pigmentation in their skin, their hair, or their eyes. And that affects their eyesight. And as a kid, they said, you better go get some glasses. But he didn't want to wear them. So he just had bad eyesight. <laughs> and number two, Johnny Winter was a big fan of The Simpsons. It was part of his daily schedule every day to tune in and watch The Simpsons. Number three, Johnny didn't drive. I guess that's a good thing because with his eyesight so bad, it would be unsafe to have him out on the roads. But, you know, for a while, when he was living in Manhattan, he had a moped, and he used to cruise around in Manhattan on a moped. You know, I think I would have liked to see that. as like, what was that? A white-haired guy blazing by on a moped? Number four. His diet was pretty plain and simple. He really liked Taco Bell tacos, and he liked White Castle. And that was kind of interesting because when they're on tour, tour manager had to find out where's the Taco Bell or where's the White Castle. And when you're in Paris, it might not be too easy to find yourself a White Castle. And number five, Johnny loved his grandfather. He affectionately referred to him as Old Pa. And the grandfather was originally from Mississippi and he was in the cotton business. Johnny really admired his grandfather. A lot of the information that I got was from a book by Mary Lou Sullivan and it's called Raisin Cane, The Wild and Raucous Story of Johnny Winter. I like the book and if you guys want to find out more about him, go get the book. Number six, Johnny was a serious womanizer. When he was 15, he lost his virginity at a bordello and that trip was arranged and paid for by his grandfather. Throughout his life, there were lots of women and even while he was married, he had a woman on the side and he had a great struggle in his life trying to decide if he was going to devote himself to just one woman and it was very difficult for him to just have one wife. Number seven, Johnny was not a morning person. He was a night bird. Guess what time he woke up every day? Around 4 p.m. That's what time he woke up. And number eight, Johnny liked to walk around his house naked. And number nine, when Johnny was around 40, he got a tattoo and he liked it so much, he got tattoos all up and down his arms and on his chest, a great big dragon. He liked to call that one the Screaming Demon. He was really proud of that tattoo. Number 10, his parents provided a loving home and his parents supported Johnny and Edgar in their musical endeavors. And the father was a steady kind of guy who was also a Sunday school teacher. All right, I'm throwing in a bonus here. Number 11, here's a bonus. Jonathan Winters and Johnny Winter are not related, both famous people. So we had J.D.W. and J.H.W. And they both died about a year apart. But these guys were not related. All right, thanks a lot for watching my video. Come back in the future, I'm going to have more interesting videos. And why don't you do me a favor and subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.